Hi, welcome to Turtle Burger Girl Crochet and Knitting Podcast. My name is Brittany. Thank you for joining me. If you are wondering why I added the girl to Turtle Burger Girl, <laughs> that is for Little Lady. She calls herself Baby Girl, and I had been trying to find a way to include her um, nickname along with our sons, and that's how Turtle Burger Girl came to be. <laughs> I'm not quite used to it yet. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new or returning, I truly appreciate you being here. Today is, uh, what is today? Tuesday, November 8th, 2022. Before I get into my projects, I do want to let you know, um, or remind you if you already knew, that I do have a brioche make-along happening in the Turtle Burger Girl um, Ravelry thread. I will link that below. We'll have all the details. It is going on any brioche project until December 31st of this year. Okay, so I don't 100% remember everything that I have worked on since the last podcast. And to be honest, I didn't really feel like going back and watching it. <laughs> so I am going to talk about what I know for a fact I have worked on so I only have one finished project, which um, is in this, this is my new dishcloth bag. I was so generously gifted literally a box of project bags. And thank you so much, you know who you are. I just, I was about in tears when I got it because I love bags and they are all so beautiful. So as I use them, I will um, show them but anyway, this one is super cute, has little foxes on it. It's a drawstring bag. And so this will be my monthly year of dishcloth bag. So every month that I make these dishcloths, they will be going in that bag. So this was the October 2022 dishcloth of the month by the Kitchen Sink Shop. It is not blocked or anything. And this is Anne dishcloth from Anne of Green Gables. I had been waiting all year for this one. It is my absolute favorite classic book I read as a little girl, and it's one of my favorite movies, the ones from the 80s with Megan Follows. So I absolutely love that dishcloth. Um, the yarn I used, which it used, I believe it was 30 grams of yarn. Um, and this is what I have left. This is what it looks like in the scheme. Very pretty. It is Peaches and Cream Original in the color Rosemary. And I used a US size 6, 4 millimeter. These are my Co-Knit Bamboo. Um, I pretty much only use these for my dishcloths now. So that is my only finished object. So works in progress. Um, I got, I went back to starting my spindrift shawl again. I'm so close to being done, but it gets longer each row. So it takes me forever. I only did like, <laughs> did you not know I live with dinosaurs? <laughs> If you could hear that, that was Little Lady. Um, so I only got like a couple of rows done, um, but I am back to working on this. And I like it so much. I do want to finish this. I would love to finish. These are, um, by the way, I didn't mention this. These are the projects that I am hoping to have done by the end of November. I'm exclusively rotating these projects. Um... I don't plan on casting on anything new, with the exception of I have not yet casted on November's Dishcloth of the Month, um, which is Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice, which I really enjoyed that book, too. I read it when I was about 17 on vacation at my grandmother's, and I really liked it. Um, yeah, okay. So the yarn I'm using, this is Monarch Yarn on Etsy in the color Tropical Fade. It is beautiful and I love it. And I am using my Chowgu Red Lace 
um, circulars, US size six, four millimeter on a 40 inch cable. And then the, um, this little butterfly I got from Barbara, who is the owner of Monarch Yarn on Etsy. She gave me that when I ordered from her the first time last year. My next project you have seen, and it is my Scrappy Stripey Sock for the Scrappy Stripey Sock Knit Along from Kay Litton of the Crazy Sock Lady. Sorry, I got my stuff mixed up here. So this is my first ever Scrappy Sock and my first ever Stripey Sock, and I like it so much. I have just turned the heel. I have not picked anything up yet. Um, again, or I guess it's only again if you've watched my other videos where I've talked about it, but <laughs> my main color is Huntington Valley Yarns in the color denim. This first stripe is Southern Skeins in the color Holly Jolly. This stripe is um, Monarch Yarns in the color Ocean Fade. This is coming off brown, but it's actually um, Huntington Valley Yarns in the color Mauve. And this is Yarnaceous Fibers in an unknown, fing or unknown colorway, but it is the Salt of Fingering sock set. And I did my, I did, before going into the heel flap, I did three rounds of um, my main color denim just because I liked the way that looked a little better. Anyway, if you're curious how many stripes I did and all the details on this, it is linked in my Ravelry project page. And actually on this one, I'm trying a different size. Usually I make or do a 56 stitch count sock, but this time I did 60. So I'm eager to see how that works. And this is also um, my first just vanilla plain sock for myself. So that's exciting. I um, made these on, or am working them on my US size one, 2.25 millimeter Chowgu nine inch circular. And then I did my heel flap on just a generic, no, there's no brand or anything. I got them on Amazon size one um us one 2.25 millimeter i got on amazon when i first started knitting but i'm excited i did order a set of um us size one 2.25 millimeter chowku dpns so i'm excited to get those and and see because these while they have held up well one of the five that they came with is very splitty and that seems to be the one I gravitate towards. So anyway, so that is that. Um, in my next two projects, you have not seen. And this is a sock test. This is um, the shi bright shiny sock or shiny bright sock test knit from Darcy of Chit Chat Knits. All of this yarn is dyed by me, so let's go over the details. So this first one, uh, my main color here is what I dyed over the summer in July. Um, the base is Knit Picks Muse. It is a 7525 base, and I really like it. So I use just a bunch of different Kool-Aid colors to dye this. And I had just been waiting for a good project to use with this. So when this one came up needing four yeah. colors, I was like, yes, that's what I'm going to do. So that's that one. And then um, hopefully you watched my last video, which was a die with me video. Um, my background color here is just um, a bear sock muse or nitpicks fingering sock um, muse you know is their base or whatever so i left that one bare and then i really wanted to draw out some colors that were in this so this kind of color i use i dyed is this tealish color this was um blue berry blue typhoon i believe Ooh, it's got fuzz on it got yeah berry blue typhoon and then this color 
again, my camera's making everything look brown, but it was supposed to be like a purple. I used um, purple smash, wild purple smash or something, and it's kind of like a purpley mauve, but it does look brown in the sock, but everything's getting blown out. <laughs> But it's really pretty. I used one packet of the um, Hawaiian Punch, and it was a really pretty lavender. I wish I had kind of stayed at that because I added another packet thinking that it would um, kind of deepen the lavender color, and it didn't. <laughs> but I still really like this. It, you just can't see it as well on the camera. So that's the yarn. I'm making the smallest size, which is... Um, a 60 stitch count um the heel flap turn and gusset i really like this method it's a standard slip stitch but on the um gusset decreases it's a four row repeat so what you're doing is you're decreasing by four stitches and then And then you knit around and then you decrease again just typical two stitches and then knit around anyway i'm really liking this i can't wait i have not tried it on yet to see how it fits but i i really liked that method it went by so quickly it really did and so now i'm just into the foot and always i choose to not as always because as you've seen i did magic or i mean um nine inch circulars but my preferred method is magic loop and these are my chowgu 40 inch cable us size one 2.25 millimeter and hopefully that will be done soon i did um i didn't make any modifications um so it is a much taller sock than i think i've ever made before so that's kind of neat i'm hoping they're not Christmas at all, but I'm hoping if I can get the second one made, these will be my Christmas socks. Oh, no. So that is that. And this, that sock is being stored in another bag by my friend that I like so much. So it, there's so much room. You see all the yarn I have in here. Like, it's not just a single sock set. Like, I have all my yarn everything and it just works out so nice i can't tell you how many times i've just walked around the house <laughs> like knitting and i've got it like under my arm <laughs> like anyway i like doing that anyway so again thank you i i just love this bag it's very like parisian and just kind of reminds me of my mom my mom loves all this kind of stuff and we had chairs like this and stuff growing up her and my grandmother anyway so i really like that and that's very i don't know i just like it so thank you again and then my last project i know you haven't seen because i started it a few days ago it is the classic world war ii hat so how fun is that so the way here it is I am just using Red Heart Super Saver in black, worsted weight. I am using my Clover Takumi Interchangeables, US size seven, four and a half millimeter needle. And then um, my stitch marker I made because I thought, how fun is that? That came in like a charm set I got from Walmart to practice stitch markers on. And I thought that just seems like really fitting because I think a lot of navy people wore these in the military during world war ii although i think it was all branches but anyway so the way this came about is my husband and i decided we needed a gift for a nephew um he's an adult nephew which adults in the family don't usually get um like gifts like once they turn 18 and you know anyway but he is living at home, and so we felt bad that his two younger sisters were going to be getting gifts, and he wouldn't. So, <laughs> so we decided he needed a hat. But also, this works out because I think this one is going to be, I don't know if it's for him or my husband. I was planning on making my husband a Muscleboro hat, 
um, which I've never made one of those, but I was planning on it. I was going to dye the yarn and everything. But this might work out better because my husband is a huge history buff, particularly military history type stuff. And so when I saw that this was the World War II hat, I was like, would you like this one? And he was like, yes. So I am just making it um, the adult large size. I'm going to see if it fits my husband. And if it does, he can have this one and we can always do something else for the nephew. But anyway, so that is his hat or somebody's hat. <laughs> it is really all it is is a two by two rib for umpteen inches, which I'm in the midst of. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. It works up really quick, even though it's ribbing. I typically don't like ribbing, but it is, I'm just like flying through it really. I did all this in like one day. So it's really, really coming along. Um, wow. That is it. Although I do want to let you know, the other night I was working on um, my um, little lady's love note and lost some of the, I was on the lace section and lost the stitches. So I thought, you know what? I'm not doing this again. I am not fighting with another love note. I unravel it. I frogged it. I thought I'll come back to it. I've got so many other things that I really need to finish that I am not gonna fight this thing. I wasn't pleased with the way it was kind of looking anyway, so I thought, you know what? I'll just unravel it and do it another time. No big deal. So these are what I am trying to finish right now, hopefully by the end of the month, and then I can protect the next thing that I really wanna get going is, um, it's already going, but I mean, make progress on is little lady's goldfish cardigan i have not touched that in months literally months um so yeah that's that's all i have <laughs> anyway hope you have a great week and i will see you in the next one bye